Hello, welcome to today's talk on uh, voltage division. So let's just dive right in. Voltage division is a scenario that occurs fairly often in our analysis and study of electrical circuits. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the scenario of voltage division and then we're going to learn uh, what the final result is and learn a shortcut for computing voltages, in this case V1 and V2. So we have a voltage source VSRC, V source, and it is connected in this case in series with two resistors, R1 and R2. And so we're interested in finding the voltage V1, or maybe we're interested in the voltage of V2, or maybe both. And this is the scenario of voltage division. So we're going to use our KVL, KCL, Ohm's law, all the things that we know, and we're going to find V1 and V2, and then we're going to have a final result that we can just memorize, and then that saves us a lot of work along the way. So let's just dive right in. So here we have voltage division, and we see that the voltage source, V source, R1 and R2 are all in series. So since they're all in series, I know there's only one current that's flowing, and we'll label this current I. Well, the voltage I can be found quite readily by writing our KVL equation. So we have minus V source plus V1, which is going to be I R1, plus V2, which is going to be I R2, and that has to equal zero. And so we will find what is hopefully becoming hopefully evident to you at this point is that the current I is going to be V source divided by R1 plus R2. And we would have seen that before because we, we know that the resistor R1 and R2 are in series. There's an equivalent resistor that you can connect across V source, which is R1 plus R2, and so I is going to be V source times R1, V source over R1 plus R2. So the question is, what is V1? What is V1? Well, since we know what I is now, V1, as defined, V1 is the voltage plus to minus with the plus on the left, and the current I is flowing in this direction, and we figured out what that is. That's V source over R1 plus R2. V1 is going to be I times R1, and that gives us V source R1 over R1 plus R2. And so we take V source and we multiply it times R1 over R1 plus R2, and that is V1. Likewise, we can find the second voltage V2, which is going to be I R2. Using our result from here, we see that V2 is going to be V source times R2 over R1 plus R2. And we can look at the circuit and we, we can see quite readily that you know we have a voltage source, V source. It's, it's a voltage, creating a voltage plus to minus where it's, uh, the energy is rising up and then the energy drops across the two resistors. V1 and V2 are dividing. It's the sum of V1 and V2 have to be V source. And so V1 and V2 are simply dividing out dividing up the V source voltage among themselves. So the result we need is here it is summarized for us that as I like to say for voltage division, if I have a voltage source, if I have a voltage source V source that I'm trying to divide, I'm doing voltage division on V source, then V1, I'm going to take that source voltage and divide it. All right, and the denominator has the sum of the two resistors in it, and then if I'm looking for the voltage V1, then I need to use the value R1 in the numerator. Likewise, if I'm trying to find V source, excuse me, find V2 in a voltage division of V source, then I need to stick the resistor of interest, in this case, R2 in the numerator. And so here are the results. And so whenever we have the scenario of a current source, excuse me, a voltage source which is in series with these two resistors, then we can simply find one of these voltages straight away by using these relationships. Likewise, you can continue that and, and generalize it to an arbitrary number. If we have M resistors all in series, then we see since they're all in series, we know there's a single current that's flowing. Since they're all in series, we can combine all of those M resistors into a single resistor and we can find the current as V source is going to be the sum of resistors, R1 plus R2 plus all of them, up to Rm. So that's the total current. And then if I want to find any one of these voltages, any particular voltage, if I want to find V2, for instance, I just simply take that current I, 
the source over the sum of the resistors and multiply it times R2. And you get the general result if you're looking for the rth resistor, so pick any one of the resistors. If you're looking for the voltage across any arbitrary resistor, then you need to simply take the source voltage, multiply it times the resistor of interest over the sum the sum of all the resistors. And so in voltage division, I can take this V source voltage and divide it into as many pieces as I want, and I can find any one of those individual voltages quite quickly and easily by using this relationship. And so the scenario of voltage sources and series of resistors occurs a lot. So this is a, a relationship uh, a, of an equation worth committing to memory to save yourself a lot of time. So let's look at a special case of voltage division, and that is we have a particular voltage V source, and we want to divide it among two equally sized resistors, in this case R. So this is a very general problem. We have a voltage source V source, and it's connected in series with two resistors R. And the question is, what is V1? So we can use our relationship. V1 is going to be V source. Remember the denominator is the sum of the resistors, so we have R plus R, and then we put the, if I'm looking for V1, I need to use its resistance in the numerator, so that goes on top, and you see by simplifying it, you get one half V source. And if you want to find V2, you can do it like the same way. V source is going to be the denominator, the sum of the resistors, R plus R. If I'm looking for the voltage V2, I need to use its resistance in the numerator, and you find one half V source. And so when you have voltage division, you have a source, and you're dividing it among two equal resistors, then you get two voltages which are equal to each other. And that occurs fairly often, so that's kind of worth remembering. So let's do a, one last example that's got specific numbers in it. And so we have a voltage division here of a 20 volt source connected in series with a 1k ohm and 4k ohm resistors. Let's find V1 and V2 via voltage division. You can always use your KCL and KVL and all the rules we've learned earlier, but voltage division just lets you find the answer much, much quicker. And since it occurs so much in practice, it's worth committing this to memory to save time. So what is the voltage V1? Well, we're dividing out the, the voltage source 20 volts is being divided up between two resistors, the 1k ohm and the 4k ohm. So the denominator contains the sum of the resistors. So we have 1k plus 4k. And since I'm looking for V1, I need to use its resistance in the numerator, that's 1k. Simplifying, 20 volts and we get one fifth and that means the answer V1 is going to simply be 4 volts. Now we know from KVL that V2 now has to be equal to the remainder so we have 20 volts and then we have 4 volts for V1 which means V2 has to be 16 volts but let's go and find it using voltage division. V2 we can find the voltage V2 is 20 volt source. It's being divided up between these two resistors, and that's a 1K resistor and a 4K that we're dividing. And since I'm looking for V2, I'm looking for the numerator to be the resistor I want to find the voltage across. And so we have 20 volts times 4 fifths, which indeed is the 16 volts as expected. So voltage division is a method by which a voltage source has been split among two or more resistors that are in series. And so the general result here is something we probably want to memorize, but at the very least make sure you have the, the two resistor case committed to memory because this happens so often in practice. You really want to be able to pull this result out and find the voltage V1 right away without having to struggle through doing your KVL and KCL again. So that's one little trick you can put in your toolbox to help you save time, and in the next lecture we'll look at, it, at the dual of this, which is current division.